Hello friends, welcome to my channel Blockon. In this video, I am going to demonstrate the subcoastal approach of anterior quadratus lumborum block. It is also known as the paramedian sagittal oblique technique. I do practice a slight modification of the Elsharkavis technique. This block is usually performed with the patient in lateral decubitus position. The transducer is placed between the lower costal margin and the iliac crest, posterior to the posterior axillary line or near the scapular line. The probe is usually kept 6 to 8 cm lateral to the spinous process of L1 or L2. A low frequency curvilinear transducer is used to perform this block. A 80 to 150 millimeter short beveled ecogenic nerve block needle is preferred. A 22 to 23 gauge quinkis needle can be used as an alternative. Lower concentration of local anesthetic like 0.2% ropivacaine or 0.25% bupivacaine is used for this block. I use 30 to 40 cc of local anesthetic with 4 to 8 milligram of dexamethasone as an adjuvant. The probe is placed in the desired location as I described before. The cranial end of the transducer is tilted medially and the caudal end is rotated laterally to produce an oblique sagittal view. In this view, first identify the kidney with perinephric fat on the cranial end of the ultrasound image which moves with respiration. Then the muscle caudal to it is the swas major muscle. Then identify a uh, hyperechoic line posterior to kidney and the swas major muscle. This is the anterior layer of thoracolumbar fascia. The hypoechoic muscle just behind the anterior layer of the thoracolumbar fascia is the QL muscle. It tapers and thins cranially before its insertion into the lower border of the 12th rib. Posterior to the QL, a bit of serratus posterior inferior muscle and a thin layer of iliocostalis muscle from the erectospiny group or paraspinal muscles are visible. And the third layer is formed by the latissimus dorsi muscle, which is the most superficial one. I prefer out of plane technique for this block, but you can also use in-plane approach from caudal to cranial needling. Once the needle tip is positioned between the epimysium of QL muscle and the anterior layer of thoracolumbar fascia, the local anesthetic is injected in 3 to 5 ml aliquots after negative aspiration for blood. A craniocaudal spread of local anesthetic is observed starting with a lunar shaped distribution and anterior displacement of the anterior layer of thoracolumbar fascia as you can see here. Following the performance of subcostal quadratus lumborum block, if we scan using the Borglum technique, uh, which we use to perform the transmuscular approach of anterior quadratus lumborum block, a nice layer of local anesthetic is visible lateral and anterior to the QL muscle in between QL and the swas major muscle, which again confirms the correct deposition of local anesthetic. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. 
catch you in the next video until then keep blocking keep rocking